From the University of Utah in Salt Lake City, it's a second round matchup between the two seed running Utes and the number three seed Iowa against the winner of South Florida and VCU, number one Indiana State and number two seed Cincinnati already into the court. Straight up defense. Both teams run great half court offenses. Lots of ball screens, lots of action. Execution early. The team that can defend. Now Freeman going against Carlson. Freeman spins off the glass, and we have our first two opportunities here. Ball tipped, and here comes Davon Smith. And look out, Smith lays it in, is fouled, and count the hoop. Six-inch vertical leap for Davon Smith. The three-point play is good, and the Utes go up. Misconnection, and a nice save by Sanford. Sanford swatted out of bounds by Kaba Kata. So has the slight advantage. They are slightly more athletic than Iowa. Both teams play great half court. Perkins for three. Had 14 assists twice. One of the great assist leaders all time for Iowa. Smith pulled back. Good. And early for the Utes, getting him going in transition. Freeman Every down low counters. Quick counter by Iowa. Smith back to Hunter Erickson's first shot on the way and good. Now Matson all alone. Nice pass into Freeman who dunks it. Great look by Sanford. Winner will play at home next Wednesday. And it dunked by K. Makeda. These two played against each other in Mali as youths. And a nice tip by Ben Carlson. Who Josh Dix kicks it out to Perkins. Pass to Dix in the corner. The three is good. In the post, Utah definitely trying to take advantage. Badgema alone for three. And Cole Badgema buries it off the mark. Smith ahead of everybody, and we talked about his speed. Harding. Got Smith in the air, then down low to Freeman, but too much traffic down there. Finally gets it back. Big Ten freshman of the year. Misses the first free throw. I was number one free throw. Most by a Big Ten freshman makes the second one. 19-12. UC Irvine that kind of gave them the momentum going into the second half. And there's Madsen now. Into the game and on from three. The plays before they had Bajima on the skip pass. Freeman too far underneath. McCaffrey dunks it in traffic. The team team first, first, yeah, let yeah. the coach be a coach. By Sanford is in the book. Brandon Carlson back out to Davon Smith. The three on the way is good. Brock Harding. History is perfect. Back in. Now into Brandon Carlson. Spins, fade away. How do you defend that? Ben Crickey's mid-range jumper. And that Freeman off the glass. Intentional or not? He called it. Now Madsen. Tough three-pointer. Oh, my. Harding defended well by Majima. Now the lead for Freeman who flushes. He knows the role is open. You guys have to stay with me because I'm that good. You talk about sharing the basketball. Both teams on tape, and I was like, I'm so glad I'm not playing. How it. many times would you get Madsen again? Whoa! Gave Madsen like he took over at the end of the of this game. Madsen again. And he is fouled. And Gabe Madsen will First one goes, and for the 14, and this is their largest lead right now. Smith to Madsen, this is a heat check, and he is fouled again, and Madsen will shoot three again. Very, very difficult shot to make, but free throws, on the other hand, are not. And Gabe Maddie then just found a home in Utah. Madsen with the rebound, Ben. Kaba Keita posting up and ducking 
as he got the high low high percentage dunks the crowd is now in the game and there's a steal by Madsen for another easy two. Madsen with the flush finally Dick silenced the crowds talked about the good Cricky with the offensive board McCaffrey again this time the three dribble got stuck in the air here comes Josh Dix Euro step off the glass and good Just before the half you gotta count that as a moral victory Badgema opened in the corner and Cole Badgema with a three then kind of Davon Smith cut off Badgema leaves it for Smith who lays it in Ben Cricky from the corner Freeman up high, then leaves it for Cricky, who lays it in. Little clearing space, misses, goes for his rebound, can't get it. Madsen corrals it, up ahead to Smith, who has a two-on-one, leaves it, and Carlson flushes it. Reversed it, Freeman altered it. Sanford, beautiful pass to McCaffrey, who missed it, but a late whistle call. The jersey. McCaffrey, an excellent free throw shooter. Both are good, 52-40. Now they're ready for Madsen off the curl, and that left Lovren wide open. Good thing by giving it up. McCaffrey slicing in and laying it in off the glass. Badgema stripped Sanford, and here comes Utah. Carlson's the trailer. Back out to Dix for a wide open three. Josh. Yes. Where the Hawkeyes really needed that the Anna State. And that was the last time Fran McCaffrey was in this building, 1979. We talk about six degrees of world, but he's had a magnificent career at Iowa, one of the best coaches in the country. Carlson inside misses it, but drew the foul. He also passing Dr. Tom Davis, uh, who we give a shout out to, is uh, in his 14th season. And it's not by accident. You have principles, you have the three has been good to Utah. Iowa not so much. And right there, taking advantage of a high post. So good. And here comes Davon Smith. Smith slicing in. And the quickness factor with him is unbelievable. Cricky, no. Gets his own rebound. Second effort. Draws the foul. Count it. And Ben Cr Cricky drives inside, the left-hand runner is good, and Ben Cricky, the veteran transfer from Valparaiso, big in the second half. McCaffrey takes the bump, doesn't go, but will go to the front. Patrick McCaffrey. The now Iowa chipped away with some solid defense in the zone, still giving away points at the free. Want to get back to penetrating and scoring. They've fallen in love with the three-point line, and it hasn't paid dividends. Brandon Carlson got the bump. Come to him right now. His teammates have been making plays partially because of him. Plays on the defensive end. And cause Now Harding trying to get to Freeman. Couldn't. Cricky inside. Ducks in and the flipper. That is finesse and footwork. Brandon Carlson for three. Off. Lovering rebound. Leads it back to Carlson. And the big man clears it. Badgema. Strong to the hoop. No good. Lovering flushes the rebound. They keep teams at a distance, and he converts the free throw. Two big plays by Lines. Harding against Erickson. Gets the screen and is open, and Brock Harding. Three zone. Madsen left alone for three. Gabe Madsen is still hot from the first half. Oh, Carlson was open underneath. No one saw him. Erickson left alone because of the traffic underneath. And Hunter Erickson. Good defense on Josh Dix, who makes a tough shot after being. Fran McCaffrey abandoned that zone as he knows it's go time with eight minutes remaining. Madsen again. Boy, he does not need much. Madsen off the curl again. Another three by Gabe Madsen. Points at the crowd after. Think about Tony Perkins only has three points as he goes into Freeman. Can't get it now. Hey, folks, for the fourth straight year, every NCAA. 
Corey Perkins. Badgerman tried to save it through the legs. It got to Davon Smith. Lovering foul going to the hoop. And the big step with big offensive rebounds. Now Price Sanford in the lane. Smith in the corner. Madsen has a new career high. Mark for 55. McCaffrey blocked by Carlson and goaltending called on Brand. That shot up 13. By Sanford off the mark. Erickson, nice hustle on the rebound, and he is fouled. It's moving early on in the game. Erickson. Peyton Sanford, who had such a magical season, a special field goal, and 40% from three. Well, Not such, close to any of those numbers tonight, Corey. He's such a great player. I mean, he plays the game the right way. It's two. He'll get one more. Makes all three and also has nine. I made another substitution. Maybe it bothered. Harding goes around Madsen and a tough hoop and then but instead now they find him. Badjaba lays it in. Harding counters a 10 point game. Timeout. And now 17 points. Any game but they got the scoreboards up there, and people can read the stat line. Madsen 31, triple-double for Smith on a night when Brandon. I like these young players for the Hawkeyes as Fran takes a timeout. Shot clock violation. The equivalent of victory formation in basketball. The Utes five in advance against VCU. Three is good by McCaffrey. Advanced to the quarterfinals of the NIT. McCaffrey and Craig Smith. And need a balanced attack for Utah. They put up 91 points at home, and they'll be looking to do that. 48-hour notice.